All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. For those of you who are new here, hello, I'm Kaio Haruko, and today we are going to rank the Epic 7 collaboration units since there are two collaborations, ReZero and uh, Guilty Gear running at this present time. Uh, so I thought, what better time to rank these collabs? So uh, yeah, this list is primarily for um, new players. So what I wanted to give you new players is kind of an overview of uh, the collabs and what the units are kind of worth so this will be a tier list kind of like what the units are worth for both pve and pvp um so it's kind of a combined deal first of all kizuna ai uh she's discontinued she's kind of a joke unit she's not very good but she's hilarious uh she says a lot of funny stuff and overall hilarious uh strictly for collection purposes i doubt and like i said she's discontinued and i doubt she will ever come back uh, after that, we have the currently uh, running uh, collaboration with Guilty Gear. Um, Biken, I will put at she's a really good mm, she's a really good unit, but she can be replaced. I think I'm gonna put her at like. Are we generous? We're, we're gonna put her at A so far. Uh, Jacko, she's a really really strong uh, PVP unit. Uh, she has been dominating the meta ever since her buff. Um, leave and overall uh, hyper aggro to kind of a hit with the latest uh meta change uh so she's not as strong but she's still great uh definitely recommend picking her up uh i missed out on her uh because i skipped her the last time the event came and i regretted it so bad ever since she was buffed um her artifact is decent too like his artifact is trash uh elfelt Unfortunately, she's one of the units that's been incredibly kind of like just power crept. She doesn't have a lot of uses. She has some very niche uses, but kind of just like in all of the uses she has, there's always or there's probably um, another unit that kind of does what she does better. Her artifact, uh, Miss Confowler, is pretty damn good. Um, so might be worth just getting the artifact. Uh, Dizzy. Um, I would actually put Dizzy on the same level as Baikin because Dizzy has some very niche uses. There's a, there are some like PvE content when people are just like, oh, it's easy, just pick Dizzy. Like some story, some abyss, definitely she has her uses. Um, she's not useless. A lot of people like shitting on her. She's not useless. She has some niche uses. Um, so that is important to con take into consideration. Uh, Soul Bad Guy, uh, pretty much only a golem. Farmer, he's probably the best for Golden, but there are he gets Serbia for free, and there are a bunch of other placements. Um, I would probably put him in the same tier as Alfeld because they both they're great at what they do, but there are just better options. Uh, let's see, then we have the ReZero collab, which is currently running. Um, I would probably put Emilia. Should we just? I wonder if we should just put them down a bit. Yeah, Amelia would probably put in A tier. She's kind of suffering a little bit, whereas there are both Amid, who does aggro better, and Desina, who does defense better. However, Amelia still kind of hits a sweet spot in between, which she does a little bit of both. Um, it's not super common when you would need a little bit of both, but sometimes you do, and she has some PvE uses uh, with her attack buff. Uh, she's great with little Queen Charlotte and other people she needs to boost up. Um, so she still has her uses and kind of her own spot, but that spot is so little. Uh, we have Rem. I would definitely rank Rem above Dizzy and Baikin. Oh, would I? Yeah, I would. I think I would. Yeah. We'll place Rem here um, preliminarily. Preliminar preliminarily? Is that a word? Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, she's... I just recently made a video up. Uh, Please be sure to go check that one out if you're interested in whether or not to pull the ReZero uh, lab units. But Rem has a lot of PvE uses and she's still used in PvP. Um, she's kind of like an anchor and she can definitely still hold her on. Do not underestimate this unit. Uh, I swear to god when she's on the right side she has like a 90% counter rate. Um, Ram is a free unit she is pretty much only used for banshee one shot but she's great at that so she's a little bit in the same seat as soul um biken does that better uh but they're both kind of one trick ponies maybe biken actually deserves to be here now that i think of it <laughs> i guess c tier is the one trick pony they have that thing they're really good at but 
Or does Elfel just... Is this the one trick pony lane? I guess the Dizzy kind of has more uses. You know what? We'll do it like this so far. Um, Ning Ning. Unfortunately, she's just a little bit. She's kind of just the worst version of DJ Bazaar. She's a limited collab unit, yet she's just kind of not that good, honestly. She's very difficult to use. You need very good gear investment in her and... Honestly, the investment you would put in her to make her work is just kind of like put that into any other unit and they will kind of get the job done. Um, Giselle, super fun unit. Honestly, she's just kind of like a worse. Like I would rather build like why would you build Giselle when you can build like Sid or someone? I suppose she has a decent uses if you push her up like Ning Ning and Giselle kind of work great together. But honestly, there's just so many situations where like Challenger Dominial or just like any other mage one shotter can honestly work better than her um karina honestly she's kind of the sole reason for the ss plus tier to exist because she is absolutely broken there's not a lot of counters to her and she's just dominating the meta right now and she's so strong um if s ever does come back uh be sure to uh definitely pull for her because she is a monster right now i hate 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 seeing her i have her um but, oh my god, I'm so tired of seeing Karina. <laughs> Please. Um, when we have Winter, she kind of has her niche uses. Um, she counters kind of non-attack um, skills. Uh, and definitely like slower comps. So she can kind of ramp up. Because each time she does her ultimate, it deals more fixed damage. And every time there's a non-attack skill, she gets a reason on it. So you do the maths. She long battles. Uh, with lots of non-attack skills, she will just cycle like crazy. Shuna's actually seen some kind of a re resurgence. Um, she actually is not bad. I wonder, do we give Shuna her own? You know what, we'll do it like this, actually. Uh, so the A tier actually has kind of a meta usage, but they're not like super meta, but they, they're still viable in this in the meta. I think Winter also took hit with a because she needs to crit in order to deal the fixed damage so she actually took quite a hit. Uh, some may say a critical hit. <laughs> okay but sorry for the dad joke. Um, um, in the meta so she needs to crit and there's a lot of anti-crit in the game with ML Landy, Mort, uh, Shu, Senya. Um, but she's still I, I'd say she still has a spot. Um, a lot of people kind of like shit on Milim, but I think she's great for countering the RGB uh, normal Landy. And there's, there's honestly, I use Milim a lot, and there's been a lot of games where she just hard carries and kind of 1v4s. Uh, Rimuru is still super strong, not as strong as he used to be, but he he still packs quite a punch. You can build him tanky, and he will still ramp up with his fixed damage. He will steal buffs, or he can steal like super important buffs, and honestly, just really great overall uh there's he can just almost always be drafted to be honest he's just not he's rarely a bad pick honestly benny maru uh a little bit 50 50 uh he definitely can um he counters non-attack skills too let's do it like this and um honestly he's just he can definitely disrupt uh, a cleave team with his damage and overall just ability to cut. Not a bad choice. His artifact is super, super good. Um, and lastly, we have the Full Metal Alchemist collab. I would honestly, I think I would put Roy here in the 8 tier. He's super fun to use. Super, like, so much damage. Um, it's kind of difficult to keep him alive, but I suppose you want to build a team around him. And then he just kind of, like, annihilates the entire team. Um, hog countered by blue units um, so there are a lot of strong blue units right now in the meta so uh, there's that is a hawkeye is honestly a d-tier character to me uh, she's supposed to protect um, I think it is the front unit but mm, I don't know I feel like there are way better options if you want to protect somebody and she overall doesn't really provide anything spectacular um, Edward is an absolutely fantastic unit. Uh, he is so strong against debuffs. Honestly, he can pretty much force you to ban him in RTA. 
if you are playing with debuffs because he just cleanses and counterattacks and cycles so quickly and heals and there's just, he's just super difficult to deal with unless you're um, not debuffing that is but uh, if if you have debuffs Edward is just one of those units that can 1v4 honestly uh, I wouldn't put him at the same tier as Karina though but overall I think I think we're good with this tier list honestly I don't know if Dizzy deserves to be down here though the thing is Dizzy can fill a role in some abyss floors that nobody else can I feel like everyone in C tier their job is just like someone else does their job better while in D tier everybody else does their job better <laughs> and we have the B tier then where they they, ha they have some specific niches where they're really really good at but overall there are a lot of better alternatives A tier they have their own specific role that they fill and they do that very well however there are they're not as universal as uh the units in the S tier um Edward is just so good into so many like there's so many debuffs uh right now and he's just overall a really really strong pick uh even though these are not like uni quite as universal because they kind of thrive in a specific playstyle um so not specifically very niche in terms of just countering a few specific units but they're still they're still very strong in the in their own respective playstyle and the SS tier is just honestly Karina is just like pretty much you can almost always draft her right now she's way too overtuned her fixed damage is off the charts if she has that high defense and you can build her on both speed and she will cycle quickly as crazy with her own CR pushing she peels with her shield and she her three turn cooldown ultimate just disintegrates uh, so many people honestly um but this is I'm I think I'm pretty happy with this final ranking honestly um these units ha does have their own counted counters and issues however looking at it now it looks like the slime has probably the strongest collab like overall strength in terms of uh, units um but it, it's um it's interesting to look at like um it's quite spread out actually so we have like some of the weaker ones uh from the um full metal alchemist here with risa and we have a lot of guilty gear that is at c tier but then we have jackar and we have edward up here so but really at the end of the day it's just really up to your preference i collect characters based off of looks and kits and how i like them not based off of meta um but it depends on what you find the most enjoyable honestly like if you really really love giselle then go for it like then she's to you she's gonna be a lot more worth than to me personally um the only unit I am missing from here is is actually Elfelt and two units, Elfelt and Kizuna AI. Um, but um, I'm looking forward to um, any new collabs and honestly for new players I really hope that they rerun the Espa collab because Karina is such a monster right now and I think if they're gonna have such a strong collab unit I do think it's important to uh, let have everybody have access to that otherwise RTA is gonna feel like a drag for new players coming into this game so my recommendation pull for whatever unit you find most desirable however my recommendation meta wise would be to pull for jackal right now and then pull um for karina if espa comes back uh thank you so much for watching if you would enjoy or be interested in more tier list content please comment down that comment down below and if you want to support the channel on our journey towards the youtube partner goal of 1000 subscribers <laughs> Please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, the encouragement is always, always, always uh, appreciated. Uh, but for now, take care and I will see you next video slash live stream.